This is a super time sensitive video. So if you're interested in hearing about the latest IFO and why I think it's a great opportunity to four or five X your money, make sure you watch it fully. I'm going to make it short and sweet. What's good YouTube. Welcome back to the Brown Gen. If you end up liking the content that you see, don't be afraid to like subscribe and share this video with your friends. Eco versus is a new Pokemon S game developed through Unreal Engine 5 and launching on the Harmony Network. It's a play to earn game that blends DeFi and GameFi. And if you want to learn more about the mechanics, I've included the white paper in the description below. And yesterday, the IFO for this project went live on the Unite Finance Launchpad, link also below. This is the first way that you're able to purchase the EVO token, and it uses what's commonly referred to as the overflow method. And I think that's amazing because we can use that to predict how well this project's launch will go. Not just that, but because of its very nature, you can wait until the very end to buy since the price in the overflow method is always the same. Judging from what I saw in the Discord, there's some confusion about what the overflow method is, so let's cover it really quickly. In the overflow method, participants basically can stake as much funds as they'd like to the IFO, and at the end of the funding period, their final allocation is determined by the amount of funds they put in as a percentage of all funds that were put in by all users. And the remainder of the funds that are not used to purchase the token are refunded to the user. And I know it can sound a little complicated, but let's use a concrete example. Say you have an IFO for 100 tokens. Each token costs a dollar, but the funding period lasts two days with the overflow method. Now let's say that you wanted to buy all 100 tokens, so you staked $100 of USDC into the IFO. But by the end of the two days, maybe 500 tokens in total were trying to be bought. In that case, you would have 100 out of 500 or 20% of the tokens. Because of our simple numbers, this translates to you purchasing 20 tokens at a dollar each and the unspent $80 that you staked would be returned to you. Now that you understand how this works, Let's look at the two pools, because Evoverse is split into a public and a private one. Both launched at the same time last night, but they have different durations. So let's cover the private pool first. It only lasts for 36 hours after launch and requires a whitelisted ticket to enter. And you could have bought this ticket for 250 Unite tokens on the Unite platform. The upside here is that you would get a slight discount on the token price, but there was a much more limited amount of Evo being sold, 4.8 8 million tokens. Compare that to the public pool, which has about 25 million tokens for sale, and it lasts for an extra 12 hours, putting it up to two days on sale. Now my strategy here is to wait until the last few hours to stake a lot of one token into the private pool, now that I see that the total amount staked is almost 400% when I shot this video. This means that at a minimum, whatever I buy, I should be able to sell for at least a public price when the liquidity goes live. On top of that, the private pool will get their refund for the non-spent one tokens about 12 hours before the public pool ends. So then I can stake that money there again and pick up some more EVO. And I'm hoping to see something like a 300% total stake in the public pool, because the last time I saw an overflow method IFO like this with Wen Lambo, the token price went berserk when it went live. So many people wanted and didn't get enough HVOL tokens, so the price four to five x within the first hour of liquidity. Once the public pool is closed, liquidity is expected to go live on Foxswap with the EVO 1 pairing. There will also be an opportunity to stake the EVO token with high APRs, but my plan here is not to wait for the token value to fall. And don't get it twisted, farm tokens that don't have proven value will dump. Just take a look at the chart for Crystal, and it's related to the most popular and successful project on the entire chain in DeFi kingdoms. So I'm gonna wait for a sharp increase in EVO's price, and then dump all of my tokens when this happens and maybe I consider buying back in on a really massive pullback. Once I've seen more of the project's development, we have to be careful not to buy into every story that we hear about because the story is not the product and if we buy into the story alone, 
the developers will let us take on all of the risk instead of themselves. Before I forget, I have put some links to their Medium articles in the description below if you want more details. I'm not about to get attached because I'm here to make money, so I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Anyways, that's my thoughts and how I'm going to play Evo Versus. I've been pretty vocal about this in our public Discord for the last few days, so if you want to keep up to date, make sure you check it out. Let me know in the comments below if you're considering the IFO as well. Also, if you want to support the channel, make sure you like, subscribe, and share the video, and I'll see you in the next one.